course the Taoiseach should be showing solidarity with as many communities who are affected by any disaster, and this is a disaster, uh, as it's possible for him to uh, visit. But, you know, the main thing uh, is, is not just to show solidarity and also to commend and thank the voluntary sector, the community sector, the civil defence, the uh, defence forces generally and Garda, all, all the other folks that have worked really, really hard to try and protect people and to relieve the, the awful distress. Big job is to straighten it out and there are short term steps which have not been taken. Uh, one, to alleviate the real distress, to, to sanitise, to reclaim homes, to make sure that people get compensation as soon as possible. And then to put forward uh, a long-term solution. And one of the things I've found, and I've been visiting communities since about three weeks before Christmas, there's a huge amount of local knowledge. I, I'm staggered by the, the, the number of local people who have lived on the river or beside the water for generations who know how, how it works. And one man, Joe uh, Quinlivan, this morning, and they they can't have access to their home except by boat. Uh, but he was saying to me, it's like not getting your chimney swept. You don't sweep your chimney, you're going to end up in trouble. So for, for, for decades, there has been no attempt sustainable to uh, manage the river, to keep the river clean, to dredge, to do all of the necessary uh, work that's required. And then we end up with, as a result, I believe, of climate change with these unprecedented uh, degrees of rainfall and and so on. So I think I, I think this, I mean, I do think the government have to be held responsible and it's the job of the opposition to do that. But I also think that this need to deal with the crisis has to be above party politics and Sinn Féin are bringing forward uh, a bill next week. Myself and our environmental spokesperson, Brian Stanley, will bring forward uh, a bill for a, a management agency for the, Stan the, the Shannon. Uh, I put that to the Taoiseach on the 15th of December. He rejected it then. They were then forced, belatedly, to bring together the task force. And while I welcome the task force, it doesn't have authority, it doesn't have a legislative uh, basis. There needs to be a body which has uh, a legislative basis to manage and to direct all of the shareholders to do the appropriate and things. And the, the powers that be, the experts, so to speak, in authority, have said, fine, you can build there. Uh, is, that, is that a valid well, point? Well I, well, I think there are two issues there. First of all, some of the difficulty facing people are, are a result of bad planning decisions. Uh, again, which I think ignored local knowledge to build on uh, floodplains, to build on what w would have been natural getaway areas for water and marshland, to pour concrete and cement into those uh, locations. I mean, where's the water going to go? It has to go somewhere. Uh, so there are there are bad planning decisions. But however, we have to live with that. On the issue of insurance, people should have flood insurance, where insurance companies would make a huge profit to withhold uh, flood insurance from, from, from families is just not acceptable. And to have a situation where if you if you happen to be, and, and some of these places never had floods before, uh, some of them have had repeat floods, but not to be able to get insurance, it's just like it's everybody for themselves, so it doesn't care. The state doesn't take a responsibility, and it's not enough for the Taoiseach to you know, talk tough that he's going to bring in the insurance uh, companies. The government have a responsibility. We have, we have, I was here in February 2014, met many people down in St Mary's and so on, whose homes were absolutely destroyed, and they didn't have flood uh, insurance. And I remember raising the issue across the chamber with the Taoiseach and the Minister of Finance, who's a Limerick man, at the time. So they've had plenty of time to straighten this out, and, and it should be straightened out. There are European schemes, there are other schemes that have been worked in other uh, states. People should have the right to be insured against blood damage. But if, but if planners make bad decisions, should the planners and the council be held responsible for the problems caused to the homeowners? Well, that, that may be something that needs to be looked at in the longer term. What people need in the short term is solutions. What people need in the short term is support. What people need is, is not just solidarity of visits by politicians and 
by an octoron and so on, and that that's all important for morale. But but people want the results, and the the, the most insulting thing would be that, that some of us go into these areas for a day or two days or for an hour or for five minutes, and then next year the people are. Uh, flooded again. That's that's highly insulting. Well, on that point, you're back in St Mary's Park a year later. Thankfully, they haven't been hit here yet, but they're still waiting for flood defences a year later. I mean, surely that's yeah, no, incredible it's, uh, given uh, what uh, climate yeah, change. Well, and, and and we went and looked at, and I would commend you all to go and look at the two or three layers of concrete blocks that were placed on top of the uh, wall. It's like something that a, a child would footer at, you know. Uh, it's, it's not, I mean, I, 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 we, we've been in touch on this issue, uh, the, I mean, I remember in some of the houses we were in, the water was ceiling high. Yeah. You know, it was just absolutely, totally. But nothing permanent has nothing, been put in nothing place. Nothing has been put in place, despite all of the rhetoric, despite all of the promises of the time. What would uh, you do, you could be elected into the, you could be part of the next government in the next couple of weeks, couple of months. What are the list of things that you would do uh, if you got into government to alleviate the uh, the flood problems around the country in the in the short term? Well, whether we get into government or not, we, we are committed to bringing forward solutions to these issues. And I, I make the point again that it should be above party politics. There is a responsibility on opposition parties to keep the government to account, and we try to do that in a fair and in a balanced way. We're bringing forward this bill which is about a, a, a statutory agency for the management of the Shannon. We will persist with that. We would like to think that all of the parties in the Dáil will support that and that the Taoiseach will change his mind and see the value of what has been uh, proposed. We need the insurance issue uh, sorted and then we need to listen to local opinion. Uh, the, 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 the great thing, and it's always, it's always part of the positive aspect of any crisis is how communities respond. And I, I, I think we would be insulting those communities if we didn't listen to them. They are the people who are bringing in the sandbags, they are the people who have been uh, hel 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 helping their, their neighbours and have saved homes or have tried to comfort people. The other thing which, which I've, I've noticed, and I was in my own constituency yesterday uh, in, in homes which were flooded, people's nerves are wrecked. People are just absolutely on the edge psychologically. They're emotionally uh, drained. It's, it's, it's hard to quantify that or to put a value in that. But people shouldn't have to live in this year of 2016 in conditions like that. You've just said there that you should be part of the solution whether you're in government or not and talking about not insulting people. Is it not insulting though to the people here to be back a year later and to see that there are no defences? And you have been a TD in the past year and kind of yeah. part of the Yes, but you, see, but, 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 but you see, Part of the responsibility, the people with the resources, the people who make the political decisions and when these resources and what amount of resources is the government. All we can do is highlight the issues, put forward what we think are good, uh, practical uh, propositions. And if the government then don't listen to us, or if the government uh, makes a whole pile of promises, and this government is now infamous for making promises which it doesn't keep, then all we, all we can do is, is, is to keep faith with the local people. I'm, I'm, I'm back here because I, I was taken by what happened at the time. I, I, I thought the community spirit was absolutely amazing. Uh, and it's only the grace of God that we haven't had a recurring season. It's time's up. You know, the, 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 this government should have gone to the people a year ago. The, the, the government, you know, when, 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 when you get uh, the health minister saying, that the health policy that the government was elected on doesn't stand when 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 you get them introducing taxes which they promised not to introduce when you see here in Limerick the plight of citizens in the year of 2016 the, the largest number of citizens on trolleys since Christmas across the state you know the government needs to go and if the people are re-elect them that's fair enough but it's not a given and this notion and this nonsense has been peddled that it's inevitable that Fine Gael are going to be returned. The people have to have their say and the people should seize the opportunity to get rid of this government. If Sinn Féin do get into government, who would you go into coalition with? Well, that's a matter for negotiation. We have set out our stall. I think it's very presumptuous for us to go beyond the need at the moment. And the need at the moment is to get the largest number of Sinn Féin Chakta Dali uh, elected. And then from there, we'll work it out. Well, what would be your target? 
Jeff Johnson, Jimmy Tucker, all the other people. Every one of them. <laughs>